Too. What do you want? Philippa Eilhart. Had any news? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared without a trace. If I've any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. Wiley. Orson Jr. He's working with Radovid. Huh? If this is reliable information, Orson's neck deep in shit. Source seems reliable. Hmm. It would certainly explain how he had the nerve to break with the Big Four. Need someone who can get me in to see Jr. You must still have some contacts among the Redanians? I don't, but you do. Enlighten me. Temerian, former commander of the Blue Stripes. Ring a bell. Vernon Roach. He's holed up with his men in a camp near Oxenford. Pay him a visit. You're sure to cheer him up at least. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Time was up. Got things to do. Come on, Roach.
Looking for Roach. No one here by that name. Anything else? I see. And behind you, that's a berry picker's camp? We're, uh, bird watchers. Let me guess. That sword's in case you run into a hornbill. No. Hornbills aren't endemic to this area. Don't migrate here either. You blind, Hortensio! That's Geralt, old friend of mine. Come in, Geralt. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Vernon Roach, Tamaria's last hope. Laugh all you want. Tamaria will rise again. Roach, I cannot abandon them. I... You can and must, because those are your orders. They'll die, please. We're done. Dismissed. How do you wind up here? Came with the army, of course. It's remnants. When Nilfgaard crossed the Yoruga, I dropped everything. Threw it all away to hell and rode for the front to fight the invader. Joined the Second Temerian Army under John Natalis. We were to stop the Black One's advance along the dull Blathana Mount Carbon line. And we did. For three days. Then they smashed us into splinters. Soon after, I heard Radovid was assembling his forces near Novigrad. <coughs> that he promised to fight for a free north. Broke through with the remains of Natalis' army, but... But? But Radovid proved no better than Amir. So I decided I would mount my own fight. What do you do here? Hunt Scoyatel? You jest, right? Who cares about the Scoyatel anymore? Temeria. That's what matters. Looking for Horson Jr. I've heard of him. Though I'm not sure why you think he might be in my camp. Heard some birds chirping. You've got some of the same friends. Both seem to count Radovid among your allies. These birds. They're terribly talkative. I'll need to see them. You'll have to point them out. Mm-hmm. Meantime, Vernon. Willing to help, or do I need to keep looking? Mm. As always, you've more luck than you deserve. I'm on my way to meet my Redanian contact. We're meeting near Oxenfurt, at a chess club. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. You and our commander. Beware of the other side of the river. One false move, and you could be yeah. royally fucked. <coughs> huh? Now, witches, they can't catch the pox. Isn't that right? You trouble me, Greylocks. It's true you kill kings. Ah! You and our commander. What the blazes you thinking? What the blazes you thinking? Huh? 
best beware of the other side of the river. One false move. Witcher. Just what our band of merry Now, men. witchers, they can't catch the pox. Isn't that right? It's true you kill kings. You and our commander. We'll pay for the free Tamaria with our blood. Damn the blackens! Gonna be sick. Ah! My contact awaits at the chess club. Let's get this over with. Your contact? Who is it? Slippery little bugger. I'd have nothing to do with him, were the circumstances any different. You mean you don't trust him? I trust no one, including you. Come on. Something's not right. Let's see what. Checkmate. They say it's the game of kings. That chess teaches one to think strategically. What a load of rubbish. Both sides have identical pieces. The rules stay invariably the same. How does this mirror real life? Witcher, do you know why I play chess? I have no idea. I play chess to reveal the game's secret. Blood thumps inside these chessmen. You need only listen, and you will hear. Dub dub. Dub dub. Dub dub. A heart pumping with life. <laughs> I take a pawn, and I hear flesh being rent. I win a piece, and I hear screams from the depths of its bowels. I want to break the chessmen open. Squeeze the truth from them. Do you see what I mean? No, I don't. <laughs> you do not because you are not a king. Pawns see only their comrades at their sides and their foes across the field. A king has a different view of the chessboard. His greatest foes surround him. His own chessmen might trap him. And that is... Check. And death. You see, Witcher, chess is the art of sacrificing your own pieces. 
now do you see? I think I do now. Unimportant. Let us speak. Why have you brought the Witcher here? I think he'd best explain. Expected a Redanian spy. Had no idea we'd be meeting a king. When you have an opportunity to omit intermediaries, I'd suggest you avail yourself of it. I'm looking for Cyprian Wiley, Orson Jr. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. I have placed Junior in a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well. You just give me a man after investing coin and time in him? Can't help but wonder why. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Almost. I'll expect you to return the favor. And also, Junior has lost his purpose. The Big Four is no more. I shall contact you to collect in due course. Now go. And you, Roach. We must speak another time. Radovid's sinking ever deeper into madness as I see it. I know where to find Junior. Don't really care beyond that. Geralt, come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favor. I have a terrible problem with Vess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Let me think about it. See you, Roach. Witcher. Eternal flame will burn away our sins. You try to turn them out. It's a feisty, eh? Come on. Horson Jr. Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't he? I know you, you motherfucker. Saw you kill Olgard and Vic. Believe I did have the pleasure to meet those two gentlemen. What were the names again? Olgard and Vic? Give them my regards.
degenerate. He so much as touched Siri, he'll pay. Nailed it to the wall. What the sandwich fuck is this? No, oh, fuck me. Help me for fuck's sake. No one's coming. Hello, Junior. I've come to talk. I'll do whatever you want. Got a few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking... Oh. Ashen-haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was... I, I, I remember. Pay attention now. You'll tell the truth. Want to know why? I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to kill a lot of people along the way. Some of them tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I feel like one more lie'd be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of sorrow. And then, then I'd do something I would later regret. Now you know why you can't lie to me? Yes. Good. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> We'd made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? That girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Reuven's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo. I'm waiting for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need details. I'll tell you, tell you all! Just the way it happened. Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. I can't leave Doodoo in Horse and Junior's hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out.
cheer up. We can manage this, I'm certain. Famous last words right there. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Dudu? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tune. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You're fucking balmy, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. On your knees, bitch! I've got you, you little whore. Where's Ruvid's treasure? I've got you, yeah. you little whore. Where's Ruvid's treasure?
That's what happened. Tell you true. Dudu, what happened to him? I don't fucking know. Prick vanished. There one moment, gone the next. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, cause she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. The HMS Oxenford Tretagore. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. The ship was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse? You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. 
but apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Isleheart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me. Alive. Philippa Eilhart? What's she looking for here? I suspect she wants to find her old friends. Reconvene the Lodge. Perhaps she seeks revenge on me. Lady Eilhart is known for her persistence. At times I recall the lessons she gave me when I was a child. Her teachings as memorable as the punishment she meted out. She was subtle and patient in her cruelty. I took her sight, but she remains dangerous. I'd advise you to be cautious. Need to think about it. Don't take too long. We wouldn't want Philippa to escape. Again. You may go. Long live and I feel like puking after that swill in the canteen. Thanks. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding.
wife's mum's an old succubus. Drains my will to live. Set out to steal Siggy Reuven's treasure for Horson. He promised to find someone who'd fix Ciri's phylactery in exchange. I cannot believe she parleyed with the bastard. Why? It's widely known how anybody who packs with Wiley ends. Ciri was desperate, but you're right. Wasn't the best idea. Horson ended up wounding Ciri just after he'd tortured Dudu. Dudu? Well, how is Dudu related to this in any way? Seems Dandelion got him involved to help Siri. Luckily, Dudu managed to escape, probably hiding somewhere now. Huh. What Wiley? He's dead. Take care now. Days, air brain. What's left to think them. about? Shackle the horse and he would. What's the problem? Fuck! Another non human! You're everywhere! Silence! Now we'll do this quick. I've got a little witcher chill. You're willing? Little chores aren't usually worth the pay. Well, this will be, don't you, Fred? Now just be quick about it. I've wasted enough time on these two bricks. A share warehouse. Monsters cropped up in it. Cropped up? On its own? You put it there. You meant it to rip my noodle off so you could get your paws on my goods. Don't try to spin this, shorty. I don't care who shook the ghoul or the strigger on who. Beast's got to be dealt with. That's that. So what'll it be, would ya? Fine. I'll see to it. I'll not have it. Non-humans, they stick together. 
These two are like to prove it's no ghoul at all, but my dear departed Nan. I didn't get a good look at the mug, but now you mention it, it could very well be. Shut it, or I'll send inspectors to your storehouse just as soon as the monster's dispatched. That won't be necessary. Ah! Take care of the beast. Yes. I knew Iring which would be quickest. So figure out how it got in there. Found a cage. Someone had kept the necker in it. Bars had been sawed through though. So someone wanted it to escape. Which one of them did it? Think it was the dwarf. What? Rubbish! Tripe! Why the hell would they do that? Seems plausible this racist got under your skin. But that's enough. Here's your pay. And you, come with me. Can't wait to watch him swing. Someone will have to lift him onto the stool. What's going on here? Fuck all to do with you. Piss off. Lady doesn't feel like talking to you. I can handle this. Shut your trap. Get lost. Uh, um. Who told you to butt in, eh? Huh? You all right, darling? This masquerade. Just not a good idea, I don't think. Oh, see what you've done? He's broken character now. I think I'll be on my way. I should think so.
shiny swords. Ugh. Those children climb. Fucking hails. Let's go kill some oh, monsters. <coughs> I had well, some. Man, large place, You gotta take risks and not get fat. You got so fucked up once, blood came out of the ears. Move on. alone and who might you be temple guard undercover call me an admirer of law and order made a mistake coming to this town then you're making the mistake leave him alone and if we don't this man's not worth your efforts his shop's drowning in debt you're right. Even looks like a pauper. I beg to differ. Don't even know why I bothered the bugger. My apologies, and fare thee well. I, uh, got to go brush my teeth. Go home, merchant. And try not to come round here anymore. I will. I, I mean, I won't. I, I mean both, yes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm knackered.
the father, lad.
slow now. Fled into the swamp. Fled into the swamp. to know for sure. Letter to his mother. Least I can do is get it to her. But that's it. able to learn anything. I was. I wish to know the truth. Be it sweet, be it painful. I wish to know. Your son is dead. How did it happen? His unit was ambushed. They fought bravely, but... So he perished a hero, just as his father before him. I wish to lay his body in the family crypt, at home. Afraid that won't be possible. He was killed in the swamp. I cannot even do this for him. He's to lay in a foreign land. Though, no, not for long. This will be Nilfgaard soon. My son did not die in vain. I thank you for all you have done. Your payment. Farewell.
Come on, Roach. What's the matter? Woodland spook done took me mare the other night, and there I were, so content the war had spared her. A woodland spook? Aye. As my forefathers told it, comes at midnight, sprinkles blood on your threshold so as none'll wake, then it steals. Er, uh, would you search out my mare for me? Chat with the wood dweller, perchance he'll give her back? Horses disappear around here often? Yes, yeah, sir. Not many horses at all these days. Soldiers took all that didn't die. But my neighbor had a steed. Then two nights passed. Whoosh! Spook took him. Times passed. To a maybe a cow getting milked at night or a hen nipped here or there. But now. <sighs> Interesting. How much will you give me if I find your horse? Give ye... a fifth of vodka. Sound all right? It'd sound fine if you changed that fifth to five, then added jugs at the end, then offered me the equivalent in crowns. Well, fine. Have it your way. Just bring her back. She's a grey mare, mind you. None too large. Even spooks leave tracks. Let me look around, see if I can find some. of blood had my doubts No closer. Nothing here for you, Vatgern. Need that many horses? 
Your light brigade planning to charge straight into Radovid's camp? We need them to transport the wounded. Uh-huh. Local peasants must have charged you a bundle for them. If we could afford to purchase horses, we would not be starving. Gotta take one of the horses back to its owner. You sound certain, but should you be? What now? Will you kill what remains of our unit for one old nag? You'll give it to me, willingly. Take one horse. That I'll allow. If you have a contract on our lives, hey! we need only wait. I'm watching die you. Die on our own soon. Say you, sir. This your mare? Aye, I'd recognize her anywhere. Come on, Jumper, you've got some explaining to do. Where'd you wander off to, anyway? And here's yours, sir, as agreed. Thanks. So long. Come on, Roach. 